Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into finding what is the best way to get the best gear in New World. So, not just talking about the best gear as in quality of gear, but also the quality when it comes to gear score. So, gear score is going to be something we're going to talk about today a lot about, because you can see that here, I have a ton of 591 stuff. You know, I continue to see 591 drops, as that's my soft cap right now. How do you break above 591? Is there a way to do it or get to 591 faster than everyone? else well we're going to jump through all of the different kinds of ways to do this today in like i said today's video if you guys have not already make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel turn notifications on let's jump straight into it All right, guys, so when you are just getting to that first level 60 and your item level or gear score is right around 500 to 525, you have so many options to start farming because right in the beginning, it doesn't really matter what kind of mobs you're killing, whether they're 61 plus elites or just 62 plus elites, 63, 64, 65, 66. It doesn't really matter as long as they're 61 plus. So the greatest places to really start out is going to be Mangled Heights in Great Cleave, a great spot to continue and get most, like I said, 61 elites or 60 elites to really kind of get that initial push from 500 gear score to 525. From there, you are going to want to start trying to farm Upper Spiskin. This is going to be Caminus specifically. A great spot to do. 61 elites. A very, very, like I said, good starter spot for new level 60s or groups of 60s to get those 61 plus elites. That's going to get you gear score between 500 and 525. When you start noticing some 525 gear or even close to 525 gear, you are going to want to up it though. And the next one's going to be all about gear score between 525 and 549. That's going to be about elite 62 plus. That's going to be a couple different places. So you have, a, like I said, a lot of options when it comes to higher level gear score until you get to about, you know, that 591 soft cap that I'm at currently. So the first thing we're going to do is check out Ebon Scale Reach. There's going to be actually a few areas over here in Ebon Scale. You can see Imperial Palace, a 62 plus elite zone. You have up here as well the North Palace Shrine. And you have down here, you can actually go all the way to this Uncharted Landmark down here and take advantage of these three locations that are going to give you or grant you 62 plus elites if we actually take a look at malevolence as well malevolence is a great 62 plus elite spot as well this is an eden grove a great spot to farm around 525 to 549 elite mobs and these are going to grant you guys like i said between 525 and 549 you're going to want to spend a lot of your time here getting your gear up and remember, guys, you can always do, you know, Merc Guard and stuff like that. That's going to be, you know, those 64, 65, 66 plus elites are always going to help you raise your gear score. But if you're looking for the easiest elites to help you raise your gear score quickly, Malevolence is going to be one of those ways to do so from, like I said, 525 gear score to 549 gear score. If you guys don't know how Watermark works, by the way, we will be covering that at the end of the video. I'm going to cover a little bit more deeper into that, but just trying to give you guys an idea of how to get your gear score Watermark up as quickly as possible. So the next one's going to be all about 549 to 577 that's going to be elite 63 plus zones that is going to start me off with reek water so reek water has a lot of them over here in what we call forecastle drift is going to be a great spot to start there's going to be kind of what we call the pirates there's going to be a lot of them there they drop quite frequently great drops you know purples and stuff definitely take advantage of this 63 plus elites 549 to 577 is typically the gear score you're going to get between like i said if you have up to that 549 you're typically going to be able to rise it from 549 all the way up to 577 in the pirates and you're also going to have shattered mountain scorched mine which is a great spot to begin and continue to farm throughout your you know adventures because this is going to be a lot of 63 mobs here you can see here 63 recommended level and recommended players five so a great plot a great place for you know 63 plus mobs and then also we are going to be from there at 577 be jumping over to elite 46 or sorry not 46 but 64 to 66 mobs so 64 to 66 elite mobs can actually drop you anywhere from 577 gear score to 591 or you know continue to rise that gear score up i should say from 577 to 591 you can get lower drops than that 577 to 591 but typically you're going to see your gear score rise all the way up to 591 if you continue to grind away at these spots and that's going to be all about merc guard merc guard going to be the main spot to go we also have siren stand in eternal pool so if we go over to reek water you're going to see these spots 
in Reek Water. If we come on down here, Eternal Pool, going to be a high level zone. Recommended level 64. There are 66 elites there, so a great spot to, like I said, farm up to 591. And then we have Siren Stand as well. Uh, you know, Siren Stand is down here in the Pirates as well. You can see Siren Stand. And they have, uh, they have like the dog down there. And when I say the dog, it's actually a pirate. His name is the dog. And they have a bunch of different level 65 elites in the Siren Stand area. But, you know, not too many places. That's why a lot of people, once you get to that late game, 577 to 591 farm in Merkguard specifically. And that's why you'll find so many Zergs in there running around. Next off, we have after item level 591, or really after that gear score, 591. Once you reach 591, you will only get higher items by dungeons or arenas. That's why you should save the keys for this moment. So a lot of people are spending their keys constantly. And that's why, you know, I saved my two Lazarus keys specifically until I have everything at like 591. Because like I said, 591 is kind of the cap in open world at this moment, it seems like. If we actually jump over to my inventory, it'll kind of show you that. So if we jump over to my stash, and I've sold a lot of this stuff, so you won't be able to see it all. But when it comes down to the apparel or gear, you can see medium headwear, 591. You know, we have the chest 591 we have the gloves 591 we have the head 591 like i said earlier we have the chest and we have so much of the gear all the gear i have is at 591 as the soft cap i have not gotten anything above that the only thing i have above that right now is these legs and you guys saw me craft those specifically so i could get this refreshing pillar of fire so i want to jump into how this gear score kind of works because a lot of people have a bunch of different questions so every gear slot and every single weapon type has its own gear score also Elite chests in the elite zones have a 23-hour cooldown, so always take advantage of those as soon as they're up. Do elite zones with a 5-man party, maybe up to 10-man party. Avoiding bigger groups because you will get less loot if you have, like I said, too much, uh, really, people in your party tagging the mobs. We also have luck on gear doesn't increase the amount of drops, just the rarity of drops. So remember, luck doesn't increase your drop count, it just increases kind of the the rarity so more purples more blues more possible legendary parts stuff like that the another thing that you know like i said noticed at the at the end of this is after you know like i said 591 gear score you're going to want to do your dungeon keys that's when you start to realize dungeons are the way to get to 600 dungeons are the way to continue that grind even higher so save your dungeons keys for that moment uh, Garden of Genesis is going to be one of the easier ones. Lazarus a lot harder. We have crafted items, quest rewards, and faction gear do not count towards your watermark. Only gear you got dropped. So that's another thing that a lot of people misunderstand. And then even if some slots, by the way, are not fully upgraded in a lower zone, you should move up a zone. There is no downside. So if you're farming, you know, that, like I said, those really great cleave areas or upper Sviskin, which is the 61 elites, you can do Merc Guard still, and you're still going to benefit from that. So you can see here, upper Sviskin 61 is going to be Caminus. You know, it's a great spot to go if you're just a new 60, but you going with your buddies up to Merc Guard is still going to be very, very helpful. So don't, don't worry about that. Um, and the biggest thing is I wanted to say, guys, is this is a very, very, you know, in my opinion, slow but not painful grind because it's you know, not too hard to get to level 60. It doesn't take too, too long. Once you're level 60, you need something else to grind for. So the gear score is going to be kind of a new, kind of fun thing to look forward to and grind up to. And like I said, guys, every slot is different. So if we look at my gear and look at the item gear score, 577 musket is currently the highest. So I'm getting muskets around 577. Ice gauntlets around 571. Warhammers, this is actually a quest Warhammer, but Warhammers around 570-ish because we have a 568 there. And you can take a look at your loot. If you actually just stash your loot, don't sell anything for a little bit, you'll be able to kind of see where each every you know each and every weapon kind of relates to um, or is at gear score wise. And another thing to note is jewelry is separate, and that's why you'll continue to see 500 gear score drop jewelry for quite some time. I just got this first spring token band in the Garden of Genesis, a 515 gear score. And like I said, it's it's crazy how long it's going to take us to get jewelry up to 600, but it's going to be just okay because like I said, you're probably going to want to spend jewel crafters or money on jewel crafters to make you some good jewelry because that's, like I said, the one that's going to take you the longest when it comes to getting you all the way up to um, you know, all the way up to that 600 or sorry, 591 soft cap and then into the dungeons to get that 600. If we talk a little bit more about this, you know, I could, like I said, talk about this all day, but each gear slot is the important thing to know is each gear slot is different. So if you have a 591 hat already and you have like a, you know, boots at 580, that's definitely a possibility that's happened. You know, I think I got my pants to 591 like three days ago. 
Um, and then I did two Garden of Genesis, by the way, dungeons, and did not increase my gear score. So what we're going to test next is probably doing Lazarus, just to see if I can maybe bump it up with Lazarus. Or, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly how it works once you have like a 595, um, you know, drop in the dungeons. Are you able to get 595 drops in Merc Guard? We're not too, too sure on that quite yet. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys an understanding on how gear score works, how the drops work, where you should be farming elite zones for the best gear in the game. And, uh, you know, like I said, how to really increase your gear score very, very quickly, because that's going to be the new grind. It's not about levels anymore at 60. It's about your gear score increasing and how fast you can really increase it so you can take advantage of the market. Because if you can tell, I've sold a lot in the last a uh, couple days. If you guys saw my gold amount uh, during that craft max gear score, uh, craft max gear score video, I think it was around like 18k. So we've already made 22ish k in one or two days. So that's all from selling high gear score stuff on the market, taking advantage of being the first one really at that 591 soft cap is what I've been doing. I'm mean, just excited, like I said, to have this new grind that I'm kind of into. Uh, now trying to get to the 600 gear score, I'm going to have to do some instant stuff, some Lazarus, some Genesis. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Hopefully this gear score grind makes sense to you guys. If it doesn't, I'll try to continue to help you out, make some new videos that uh, kind of explain it maybe better, but in more detail. I thought this was a pretty good recap on it. If you guys have any questions, like I said, comments, let me know down below. Uh, another thing with Outpost Rush and Corrupted Portals, a lot of people are saying that it does help boost your gear score. A lot of people are saying it doesn't. I'm not too sure. I want to test it myself because I've heard so many different things at this point. But I want to say it definitely does benefit from your gear score watermark. So if your gear score watermark is right around 550 on your legs, you'll probably get 550 gear. It's not going to give you 500. It's not going to give you 600. So it does definitely... Um, you know, establish a, a ground there for what gear you should be getting, what gear score level you should be getting. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. If you guys don't know, I do stream on Twitch as well, twitch.tv slash iGraphicGuy if you ever want to catch a stream. We will be streaming quite a bit more in the upcoming weeks ahead, so make sure to follow me there. I'll see you guys all in the next one.